Three blocks along Milam here in Midtown, there are a countless number of Vietnamese restaurants, shops, and even tailors. We went around and found arguably the two most popular spots here in what's called Little Saigon. It's right in between both of U of H campuses, so I get to come through after class and just get my food and go. Travis Davenport shares the daily routine many Houstonians take part in, standing in line and waiting for the doors at Les Travals to open. The coffee's super strong. It's, it's up here. Compared to Starbucks, it's way up here. I do like my daily cup or cups of coffee, so I had to go in to this Vietnamese cafe and try it. Just get the coffee. Several shots of espresso plus some condensed milk. All right, here's the test. Thumbs up, but it's just my opinion. Is the Vietnamese coffee and food the real deal? A question that can only be answered by a native from Vietnam. Does it taste like home? Yes, it's real. And it has been since the 1970s when the first Vietnamese restaurant opened its doors. Back in 1975, when most of Vietnam fled over here, a lot of the families flew here to Houston um, because of the easy you know, economic living. Cost of living was really low. Anna Pham is the general manager of Mai's restaurant. The popular spot is a staple in Little Saigon that survived through the worst. Hey, we'll get another 100 feet off 16. The roof is about burned through. Uh, most of the roof structure looks like it's collapsed onto the second story. My grandma and my mom were here, and they both fell to their knees. Um, it was one of the hardest days of my life, if not the hardest and saddest. In 2010, an accidental fire in the kitchen destroyed the building. It was my shift and it was during a morning shift when it happened. So yeah, it was heartbreaking to see your family's blood, sweat, tears kind of flash before you. After 14 months of being out of business, the restaurant was rebuilt in the same location. We didn't want to leave Midtown, of course. And ready for business. It's a melting pot in Houston. So being here, you're able to see all walks of life in Houston without even having to leave the building. Hello, how are you today? There's two. Oh, all right. I'm proud because the restaurant A is older than me. So I got to like grow into it, you know? Um, but I love it because we get to serve Houston uh, a taste of our culture. Almost all of the shops in the area have been in business for decades, going strong with more to come. Little Saigon is definitely growing. Many Vietnamese places around here have been around for decades, which is very telling of the Vietnamese influence and need in the Houston area. In Midtown, Rashi Vats, Fox 26 News.